y'all. So we are on the way to the shindig and we are going to visit Freedom Homestead on the way because they were right on the way and I was like, I can't go and not visit Tangi from the Freedom Homestead. And so we're going to do that and then we're going to head on all the rest of the way to Arkansas. So here we go. That tastes like a traditional blueberry bed bread. You wouldn't know yeah. that it's not. Mm. It doesn't taste like a diet so, anything. No, it doesn't. Yeah. It really doesn't. And the texture is like perfect. It's kind of gooey mm -hmm. and soft and moist. Uh, if you had put this up against one made with white flour and, and regular sugar, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't know the difference. Awesome. Oh, very, very good. Really good. Thank you. <laughs> Definitely passed the taste test. And again, it's five carbs for a large square. So you have half of a square? Mm hmm Okay, so. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. That's two and a half carbs. If you compare that to any other blueberry muffin or bread, mm -hmm. those are going to have anywhere from like, you know, 15 to 20 carbs. Yeah, in there. that's going to be crazy. Yeah, and what's, I'm really surprised too that the almond flour is not gritty at all. Because I've had some like carb-free breads and it's very, very gritty, but this isn't gritty at all. Oh, very, very good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Very good. Have more. Yay! Oh, I will. Does, does, do anybody, does anybody else want some milk or anything? Yes. Milk? Yes, though? Do, okay, so raise your hand if you want milk and I'll count. One, two, three, four, oh, five. Nice. Okay. We're gonna and drink all your milk. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. So five, and then you want some, and do you want some, Kathy? Sure. Okay. How about how about this? Just so we're exercising a Christian spirit and attitude. How about you pour one glass, and we can share, so we're not drinking all your milk. It's but it's okay. I'll do that, but it's okay. I don't right. mind. And if we want more, we'll ask for more. Okay. Well, then I will. So if you're doing, if you're gonna do a communal thing, I'll just give you a big cup. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay. <laughs> Everybody say thank you, Tangie. Thank you. You're welcome. That's plenty. Okay. I, okay, so Kathy made this gathering apron for me, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But look, like when I can wear it in the garden, and I can put my vegetables down. In the, oh, and you double-lined it. <laughs> very, very cool. I am so stinking excited about this. I'm going to wear this all the time. Thank you so much. Awesome. I love it. I can put, when I get my chickens, I can put my eggs in yeah. here. Yeah. And I can put... All kinds of stuff in there. I stinking love this. This is like perfect. So you when I saw this. the material in the store, I thought of you right away, and I think I know why now. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have that. Yeah. That is so funny. But, that, like, but how perfect is that, yeah. though? It is. It's that is so perfect. I one for you and one for Jack. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love this. I love this so much. Like, seriously. This is the best thing ever. And I guess I could even, like, double up. I could wear both of them if I needed to. Yeah. At the same time. But I love this. And it's like, I mean, who doesn't love pockets? Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Thank you yeah. so, so much. You're welcome. I love this so much. <laughs> <laughs> so we are back on the road now. puppies out run around little bear running around <laughs> and uh it's a really good good time boy tangy's really smart i thought she was awesome before we met her in person she's even more awesome in person and in case you guys don't know this uh freedom homestead has been one of our biggest inspirations to uh to start our channel um, and to also to get started with some of our homesteading adventures Man, this angle makes my guns look huge. Look at that. <laughs> Cheeto life! <laughs> so we're just uh, having fun, enjoying life, looking forward to meeting so many awesome channels that have been huge inspirations for us. And uh, hopefully going to sell a bunch of bows and batarangs. I've got an axe and beard oils and some aprons and uh, puppies. I am sorry that uh, we didn't get more footage. To be honest,
honest with you, the whole vlogging thing is not that easy for us. It doesn't come natural. And when you're really enjoying the moment and you're with company, it's the last thing on your mind to like have a camera and be focusing on shots and stuff. But uh, it is what it is. We got some footage and uh, we're thankful for that. But we're really grateful for the time we got to spend with Tangie and Parker. It's a good time. And we're going to be going to visit again soon. Then we're going to organize something, right? What are we yep. talking about? Probably. What are we organizing? Probably going to the caves or right. the dinosaur museum, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> for Owen. Something fun to do. Yeah. Caves, dinosaurs, bats, good times. So, we're back on the road and on the way. Yep. We're in Bowling Green right now, passing through uh, Corvette country. And uh, I have seen a lot of Corvettes already, and we passed the museum. So I guess that's pretty cool. I'm not really a car guy, but if I was, I'd be a Corvette guy. <laughs> I'm a whatever gets me from point A to point B kind of guy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we will talk to you later, and thank you for watching, and God bless you. Love you.